Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat. I got some Tanami related breaking news. A little earlier this afternoon, we got the announcement from Tanami through their Facebook page that SSSS Gridman will be coming to the block on January 16th at 2.30 in the morning. The following is the announcement that Tanami gave on the Facebook page. Tanami is excited to announce the latest show joining our Saturday night block. SSSS Gridman premieres January 16th at 2.30 a.m. Take a peek at the lineup below and mark your calendars for Tanami every Saturday night from midnight to 4 a.m. And the lineup that will be starting on the 16th of January will be at midnight Dragon Ball Super, followed by Attack on Titan, followed by Sword Online Alicization War of the Underworld, followed by Fire Force at 1.30, The Assassination Classroom at 2, SSSS Gridman at 2.30, Naruto Shippuden at 3 o'clock, and Demon Slayer at 3.30. Now, some of my early thoughts about this is, this was, I did kind of predict this, about how oddly for the night they were leaving Jim Aceto in at 2.30, and I was thinking they were leaving that in to kind of be a placeholder to simply move SSS's Gridman into that slot that has come to pass, and I'm um, a little bit surprised, because they did provide some hype for the show, however, they're giving them the least favorable premiere spot. As in, it's the show right before the two reruns right at the end of the block. And I find this to be interesting considering this is not a Warner production. They had to pay money to get this. So why put it in a slot that not that many people will probably watch it, you know? And it's just kind of interesting. Like, And maybe you can argue it's because this block is becoming more front-loaded than it used to be. Like, not only do you have Dragon Ball Super, which I think is just permanently etched at midnight now, but you have Attack on Titan, which is a really hyped premiere for the final season of the show. You have War of the Underworld, which is a is a dub premiere, and is a fact that a lot of people are excited for it, because we're coming to the home stretch of that. You have Fire Force, which is season two, you know, maybe not as much as hype first as compared to something like Attack on Titan, but at the same time, then you had Assassination Classroom, which... It has built its own core support. However, Toonami has shafted that show as well, in my opinion. So we come up with this interesting situation where you have this show, which they got the announcement not that long ago, and it's giving, giving, given kind of a weak slot. And maybe they, I think they're doing this almost in a weird way, kind of just in order of like, oh, how big is the fan base? Like, think about this way. You have Dragon Ball, massive fan base, of course. Attack on Titan, very large. One of the big three shows of the 2010s, in my opinion, along with uh, My Hero Academia and Sword Online. You have Sword Online, the other one, which I think didn't quite get to the height that Attack on Titan did. You have Fire Force, which was like the, one of the hot new shows of 2019. Assassination Classroom, which is just kind of this thing from 2010. A lot of people remember fondly. It has built its own fan base on the block. And they have SSS's Gridman, which honestly I never heard of until it got announced at Adult Swim, at the Adult Swim Con. But I heard a lot of people really like it, and a lot of people tell me, hey, it's a good show, it's a good show, I'm a fan of it, you know. It's not a Jujutsu Kaisen, where it's definitely going to be like the hot new thing right off the block. And again, it's going to be interesting to see how Tanami plays out their schedule in the long run, considering, like I said, winter 2021 might be the most stacked anime season in history. And there's a lot of things about that. It's interesting, interesting to see what Tanami picks up. Of course, ready of Attack on Titan Season 4 being picked up. And then you have Dr. Stone Season 2, which has been which is coming this winter. And you have Promised Neverland Season 2, which is coming this winter. And like I said, Tanami historically likes picking up sequels to shows they aired the first season of, so they're probably going to get those shows. And also, I believe I read somewhere that My Hero Academia already has been announced for Spring 2021, the new season. And of course, Tanami is going to have to pick that one up too. And put that alongside something like Pina Pirate Princess, which I think will be done sooner rather than later. I'm guessing a March 2021 announcement for that. And then later this year, too, you have to throw in Uzumaki, which is probably in October 2021. And Black Lotus, which the more and more they're talking about it, the more I think it's going to be early 2022. So you have to balance that out here, you know. And if you look at these shows, you'll think of which of these are going to be done sooner. Like, at this point, Attack on Titan will probably still have, like, nine, ten more episodes. I don't know how long this season's supposed to be. Elsization's got to be getting close, like, four or five episodes. Fire Force, I think it's around like seven, eight episodes would be left. Assassin's Creed Classroom still have 30-something episodes. And I think SSS's Gridman's 13 episodes. I'm not sure on that. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Shippuden will be here to the end of the time, and Demon Slayer's probably another 10, 15 episodes. I don't know exactly where they are on the road with that. And ultimately, you get this really interesting situation, you know. 
And I said, like, we're probably going to get a new schedule about the 16th. And the fact that we're getting schedules for the 9th and for the 16th, but nothing for the 2nd, is somewhat of a strong indicator, especially since we're only about a week away from that. Strong indicator, it will probably be the same lineup as we got the 12th, as in Dragon Ball, Sword Online, Fire Force, Session is across the room with Jim Aceto in at 2.30 or 2 o'clock, whenever that was. So that's probably what we're going to get out of that. And again, a pretty interesting announcement. New SSS is great men's coming, so this isn't a new show announcement, but main focus here is on the schedule. I think a lot of people are going to be pretty disappointed with the fact that this was given the, what I call the Hunter x Hunter treatment before it even aired on the block. As in, if you don't know, if you're new to this channel, the Hunter x Hunter treatment is my shorthand for shows that get slowly pushed later and later to the block so that their biggest moments are aired at like 3, 3.30 in the morning when almost no one is watching, you know? And again, and I'm not exactly a fan of the show, so I don't have any personal attachment to this. But again, I imagine if I'm a fan of the show, I would be pretty disappointed with this announcement. What do you guys think? What's your opinion on this news? Leave your comment below. What do you think Tanami's schedule should be? I love reading your stuff, you know. <laughs> like this content for Super Orange Cat, Tanami, anime-related content like this. Please like, please comment, and subscribe. I am the Super Orange Cat. And that is all.